Right, we're going to do some pakora or uh, fritters, um, or frituras if you're Spanish speaking. Um, fritters are in just about every culture, but they, um, I particularly love the ones that come from the Indian subcontinent uh, because they're flavoursome and they're delicious. And uh, surprisingly, even though the British people are very well aware of Indian food, they're, they're not very very well aware of Indian snack foods which are amazing I mean incredible uh, those of you who've traveled to India will know what I mean that snack food is outstanding and this is a, a typical example um, so I'm gonna do some pakora to, to British and a lot of people around the world um, that there is a pakora that everybody knows about only we call it the onion bhaji um, that is actually a pakora of sorts because it is a fritter and uh, uh, I'm going to do two versions one is that side of the chopstick and the other is this side of the chopstick <laughs> so let me just explain you can use just about any vegetables that you like with one or two caveats always include onion um, and always include a little bit of garlic because that gives it the um, for new mummy flavour but the, the vegetables can be a selection of what you like as for herbs fresh herbs work really well with it parsley uh, coriander are particularly good uh, and for spices you would just use um, I use things like uh, ajwan seeds yellow mustard seeds a little bit of curry powder that there are a number of things I've even seen uh, Indian friends put um, dried pomegranate seeds into into them uh, and that's delicious too you know it's wonderful I just don't have any right now to show you so what we do the, the, the first thing we need to do is very very simple to do you basically chop it all up you, you mix it with the uh, ingredient gram flour and I always bind it with a little um, a little uh, basically all-purpose flour um, in this case self-raising flour if you don't have self-raising flour you can use a little pinch of baking soda um, sodium bicarbonate uh, which is good for crisping them up making them nice and crispy these are fried in oil they're not super super healthy but who cares you know they're delicious and wonderful um, you'll find them at religious festivals parties all sorts of things uh, you know where people celebrate and want something that they can pick up in the hand and walk off eating let's get right on with it and uh, show you what we're doing so the first thing I'm going to do is get all these chopped up and into their separate bowls all right just to point out uh, on this side of the chopstick we can, we have spinach and potato uh, spinach and potato is a wonderful mix sagalu those of you who like uh, uh, spinach and potato sides in Indian restaurants will know what I mean uh, we, we spice it up a little bit with a green chili uh, I make I like to make mine with some uh, spring onions and uh, of course potato I whenever I use spinach I find that I, I always add in a little a few sesame toasted sesame seeds and some toasted sesame seed oil um, this is a really good quality toasted sesame seed oil and it, just a little drizzle into it really lifts the flavour of spinach um, and, and if you do this yourself you'll see what I mean it's absolutely fantastic on this side I'm just uh, picking some vegetables that I, uh, I, I have available for this um, I, I, I love cabbage myself so I'm going to add a little, uh, a little white cabbage some garlic of course, uh, half half a small onion, a, a, a red chilli pepper for colour mainly, uh, a nice carrot and a green pepper which I want to use up. It's, that's really simple, that's just taking any vegetables you've got, adding garlic and onion and then that becomes the base of your pakora. On this side I've got some, I've got 240 grams of baby leaf spinach which I just relaxed in some hot water and then squeezed out the juice. I've got, call that a bunch, it's about the same amount of, in volume as the, as the half of the onion, of spring onions. Uh, in this case I've got a green chilli because it matches the colour of that. And I've got 
uh, a nice large fluffy baking potato and some garlic uh, along with my, the spices I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm going to be adding additional spices to these, things like curry powder uh, and in the case of this one because I'm adding carrot I like to add, add ajwan seeds uh, which is my new best mate in terms of spices, I love ajwan seeds and they go really well with carrots because it is actually the seed of a rather primitive uh, taproot so uh, it's particularly good with any other taproot, so it's good with parsnip, with carrot, um, you know, just uh, and, and with um, swede or rutabaga, whatever you call it, and turnips. So um, I particularly love the flavour of ajwan with the with carroty flavours. Um, it really brings out the sweetness. It's a fabulous, fabulous uh, spice. I think you guess by now that I like it. Okay, <laughs> um, the main mixing ingredient for it all is gram flour. Um, which is the flour um, made from dried chickpeas which is ground up uh, into a flour so it's, it's actually full of protein um, and for those vegans uh, among you you do not need an egg binder with this because uh, gram flour is an of itself a protein binder okay um, I, I, to help it crisp up I also add some um, uh, what we call in Britain self-raising flour which is basically just all-purpose flour uh, with the equivalent of baking soda in it uh, or baking powder in it pretty much it's all mixed together rather good okay so um, without further ado we'll get on all right that's most of it chopped up uh, I've done one side the veggie side and the spinach and potato side uh, I just thought I'd put a knife through, crisscross through that lot just so it breaks up nicely. And then I've got two lots of pakora. These are nice veggie pakoras. Right, okay, now it comes to the spicing. So, I told you my best mate had one seeds. Had one seeds, and I would use a pinch. That's the official amount, is a pinch. Actually, no, I love it. I'm going to have two pinches. Two pinches of Advan seeds. I'm going to use about um, a half teaspoon of my homemade curry powder. About a half a teaspoon. Also, curry powder, same amount, into the spinach and potato. And because I love mustard seeds and I put half a teaspoon of mustard seeds in there as well give it some nice pop and um, in addition to that because it's spinach I'm going to put in some toasted sesame seeds I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of those because they're really good and they're going to add a nice little crunch to it and about one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Don't go too much on the toasted sesame oil because it is a little overpowering in terms of flavour. All right, so we now mix that up and I'm going to transfer that to a bigger bowl in a second. So I'm, for the purpose of demonstration and instruction I am going to transfer this to a bigger bowl. And then I'm going to get in there and mix that around with my spoon, make sure everything's mixed evenly, and then you get to something like that. Uh, in the end I went with half and half on the onions, so I put half of the spring onions, half of the red onion, half of the spring onion, half of the red onion in the other one. So we've got our spices in, and the very next thing we do is we add our gram flour. I'm going to add one, two, three, four heaped tablespoons of gram flour to that one. And I'm going to add two heaped tablespoons of all purpose flour. Now that gets mixed in dry. Mix it in dry, it makes life easier for you. Mix it in while it's still dry. And then we're going to want some salt and black pepper in there. 
So, you want a generous amount of salt. And a crazy amount of black pepper. Why? Because we can. Black pepper is oh, awesome. It just gives that lovely nutty flavor to everything. Crazy about it. Righty-ho. And we'll give that a mix. And the next thing we get in there is some water. I'm adding about a cup of water to start with and we're gonna see how that gets on. And then we stir everything in. What we're looking for is a fairly stiff batter. And it's really that simple. Really seriously, it is that simple. So, you get it to this stage where it's a nice, fairly stiff drop in batter. Now some people advocate adding a bit of oil to this at this point and then baking them in the oven. Um, my personal feeling on that is uh, they taste better when fried and that's the bottom line. You know, uh, you can eat health food, but uh, you might not live longer, but it might just feel that you do. All right. <laughs> So there we are, all the delicious spices, all the delicious ingredients are in that bowl and that one's ready to go. That one's ready to fry. I'll put that to one side and demonstrate the other one now. Okay, here we go into the big bowl and you'll see how I've cut everything up into little tiny dice. Um, you can also put it through the food processor. And don't worry about the juice because that just adds to the flavour. Um, if there's any juice that settles in the bottom, don't worry about it. That adds to the flavour. Right, I'm going to add some salt and pepper to that again. Salt. And I'm going to go nuts with the pepper like I always do. Plenty of cracked black jack. Pepper. Super. It's about to run out. My bad. There we go. Stir that into mix. It's all mixed in pretty well. And about the same. We want about, for that amount, one about four gram flour, four heaped gram flour. When you've tried this, you'll know what I mean. It's absolutely, I'm going to add a little bit more gram flour than that one. Um, and two of the all-purpose flour, two of those, there we go, we're in business, get that mixed in dry again, that way you get each piece coated, each piece is coated in flour, super, and again adding about a cup of water to it, And see how that goes. Mix it all in. You're looking for a stiff dropping batter like I was saying before. Looks like we might need a little bit more water on that and just have to see. I don't know, might get away with it. The guys at the uh, Heart of the East crew, they'll remember these because we had <laughs> we were making these for the whole crew, about 40 people in total. And uh, we're all sat around in the tent um, prepping huge amounts of vegetables and stirring in huge amounts of gram flour doing just as I'm doing now only massive amounts um, I'm sure any <laughs> Indian people will be <laughs> laughing because they do the same for their for their families and it's uh, it's a joyous occasion everyone gets together and everyone contributes their bit you know and it's um, I think that's one of the most wonderful things about food. You, you, you share it with people you care about. And it's not just the food, it's not just the flavour. It's the sitting around the campfires, it's entertaining each other um, and learning about each other and having such a wonderful time. Um, those people who talk about 
food and cultural appropriation are morons. Um, it's about celebrating the differences between people, not about finding and exploiting the differences between people. And that's where I'm coming from, boys and girls. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. I just know how good they're going to taste. That's going to be awesome. Right, OK. Um, now we need to rearrange the camera and everything and uh, just get these frying for you. I'll do a couple of each so you can see what's going on. OK, quick one. Uh, I had, as an afterthought, I decided to add a bit of mint to this. Um, it, it's strange because in Britain we tend to only use mint with um, when we're cooking peas and new potatoes and we also use it with lamb. We, we make mint sauce that we always have with lamb when we eat lamb meat. Um, but it, it, it's not used necessarily with just such limitations elsewhere in the world. Um, it's particularly used a lot in um, North African Arabic cooking um, where it's used much more like this. And um, I know water mint, which is a very strong mint, um, is, is used a lot in, in Indian cooking, um, in the Indian subcontinent. So I'm, I'm going to add that, because I want to test it, see how that pops. Um, and that's what food's about, it's about experimenting, it's about finding what you like. I think I might add some coriander. Um, some coriander, fresh coriander leaf to the other one. I'll, I'll do that, I think, as well. Let's get that and show you. Okay, I keep this frozen in a bag, but a nice generous pinch of that. There you go, and just stir it in. That's my frozen coriander. Right, stir that in. There you go, and that's ready to rock. Now let's get to that frying that I promised you. All right, while my oil is uh, heating up, uh, a little more information on these. Um, it is not actually uncommon uh, in parts of Asia for this mixture to be left uh, to ferment. And they'll leave it to ferment overnight in a warm place. Um, and then it will develop all the benefits that you get from fermented foods. Um, it, you can probably leave it up to two nights uh, before you actually cook it and then it, you, you, you'll start to see it puff up a little and ferment um, and, and it de develops a slightly sour taste uh, and there's some really really good enzymes in that uh, I, I do actually like that but right now I prefer this and that's the one I'm doing so I cook them for straight fresh but you can ferment it Right, you caught me on the hot there. I'm just gonna add it to the mixture. Just drop it in and build it up. I'm gonna do two of those. And I'm gonna do two of the spinach. That one's gonna bind a little bit better because of the spinach. That goes in. And that goes in. wonderful. Don't be tempted to move them too quickly. Um, if you move them too quickly they'll start to break apart. What you're looking for is for that colour now start to turn fairly red um, because ground flour turns this wonderful red, reddy brown colour uh, as it cooks. You're probably familiar with gram flour in other preparations. Uh, Papadoms are made uh, from either gram flour or uh, the flour of another pulse or several other pulses. Have a little test, see if they're ready to lift. Um, they won't be ready straight away. The other thing you can do with these is just literally drop, um, drop in deep in a deep fat fryer to fry it if you're making large amounts. Um, I would normally put more than this in here, but I'm just demonstrating to you at the moment. Okay, you get the hang of this after a while because that, that one doesn't want to lift yet. 
nor does that one because it's got higher moisture content than the other perhaps but as soon as they want to lift it's time to turn them so you turn them and you do that by any means at your disposal and you turn them over other ingredients that are really good for pakora are uh, butternut squash is really good um, sweet potatoes really really good uh, thinking of flavours like that uh, cabbage which you've seen me use here uh, capsicum peppers again which you've seen me use here uh, carrots excellent all tap roots are excellent carrots parsnips um, and swede or rutabaga as you might call it and turnips they're also good um, just about anything really if you can eat it and it's vegetable it's, it's good good in a pakora also in, in India I've had um, literally just chilies, green chilies that have been um, slit open and slit open so they don't pop and dipped whole into a pakora batter. I'm going to link you to um, the sauces I think will be good, the dipping sauces I think will be good for this. One of them is my own made reggae sauce and there are a couple of uh, chutneys uh, that I think will be particularly great with this and the, these are um, uh, Taste of Trini recipes but I'll, I'll just link you direct to her recipes on these. Alright, I'm just going to give these another flip and they're just about ready to come out. The baking soda or the uh, self-raising flour it reacts with acids inside the vegetables and it and it, it helps to puff it up it helps to crisp it up uh, as it fries so these are not only um, delicious warm but they also keep their deliciousness cold and it's why they're very popular uh, as a snack food all, all, all over um, the Indian subcontinent and no doubt just about everywhere where you'll find Indians have migrated to in the world because they are wonderful absolutely wonderful and I'm going to hold that up and let you see just how gorgeous they are so that's spinach and potato pakora and mixed vegetable pakora enjoy <laughs>